Agra, East London, dodging double deckers, mastered the art, rhyme quicker than inspectors. Mind the labyrinth, twisty like the Thames, complex word puzzles. Right, so we're diving deep today, and uh, I'm really excited about this one. Oh, yeah. We're going to be looking at the lyrics of Quite Interesting. It's a British rap song. Okay. And, uh, you know, maybe some people listening have heard of it, but mm -hmm. it's not like, you know, super well known. But it's really, really cool. And I think it it's really perfect for a deep dive because there's so much going on in the lyrics. Absolutely. And uh, it's from an album called Oi. You got a license for that. <laughs> Which is like the most British title ever, I think. It is quite British, yeah. It is quite British. Yeah. And the artist is Kurt Holes. Uh, so we're going to be breaking down the lyrics and uh, looking at all the little details. Yeah, we get all the little details and kind of the the wordplay, the cultural references. Yeah, the way he uses language. Yeah, how he crafts this persona um, through his lyrics. Definitely. Uh, and we've got uh, an expert here to help us uh, unpack all of this stuff. Well, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Um, so maybe maybe like we could just start with like the first few lines. I mean like. Just those opening lines. Yeah, let's do it. Just like immediately paint such a vivid picture. Yeah, for sure. He says, grew up East London, dodging double deckers. Like that. It's so evocative. It is evocative, right? It's like yeah. immediately you're like, okay, I know exactly where we are. Exactly. Yeah. And it's not just that he's mentioning London. I mean, obviously London's a global city. It's known all around the world. Right. But uh, double decker buses are so quintessentially London, aren't they? They are. I mean, if you think of, uh, you know, images of London or or film set in London or anything like that, yeah. they're always there, aren't always they? Always there, yeah. And they're such a symbol, I think, of it, of the, the busyness, you know, the hustle and bustle of, yeah. of the city. That constant movement, yeah. Yeah, and, and so for him to say he grew up dodging double-deckers, you know, it kind of gives you that sense of, of him as a kid, you know, weaving through the traffic. You know, yeah, yeah, negotiating, negotiating that urban landscape. Yeah, and it's not, it's not just like a nice image. I know. There's like an edge to it, right? There's like a sense of, like, okay, I had to be like on my toes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, I had to be aware of my surroundings. Right. Uh, and then, like, right after that, he goes into mastered the art, rhyme quicker than inspectors, which <laughs> I love that line. It's right? such a good line, right? It's like. Again, immediately establishing like, okay, this guy is quick witted. Mm. You know, he's he's uh, got that like, you know, one step ahead of you kind of vibe. Definitely. But it's also like very specifically British, right? Yeah. With the with the inspectors. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, he's he's kind of tapping into that. Uh, I guess that uh, that kind of British culture of uh, authority figures. Yeah. Um, and you know, you think of ticket inspectors on the tube and that kind of thing. And he's basically saying, Yeah, I'm I'm. I'm quicker than them. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm I'm more agile. I yeah. can I can outwit them. And it, and it's so much like in those first two lines, he's created such a strong persona. Yeah, just like I'm too. from London. I'm sharp. I'm quick. I'm clever. And it's all through that wordplay, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's. Uh, I mean, it makes me think of that phrase "poetic athlete" that he uses later on in the song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it's like it's not just about. You know, rhyming for the sake of it. Yeah. It's about that that agility, that that mental agility, yeah. and and that uh, that stamina. I think yeah. to be able to, you know, to keep going, to keep keep coming up with those rhymes, keep coming up with those punchlines. Right. Um. So so it's interesting that he uses that phrase, poetic athlete. Yeah, I was I was I was wondering about that. Like, what is it? What does he mean by poetic athlete? Well, I think it it, it speaks to that idea that that that. For him, rapping is more than just entertainment. You know, it's yeah. it's a skill. That's a craft. It's a craft. Yeah. It's something that requires, uh, you know, dedication and practice. Right. And and uh, and it's it's almost like he's he's elevating it to the level of of sport. You know. Yeah. yeah. In yeah. a way, it makes me think of of rap battles. You know, right. when you see those those kind of those head to head rap battles where, yeah. where you know it's 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 all about lyrical skill you know lyrical skill yeah and being able to 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 outwit your opponent right 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 so so yeah i think poetic athlete is a really interesting phrase 
And it and it ties into that whole like you know the way we were talking about like the the cleverness and the the quick wittedness totally and and he he uses a lot of like really cool metaphors throughout the song yeah he does I mean like brain scramble like a quiz you know like <laughs> that's, that's just it's just such a like a vivid it's such a good one isn't it's it? so good yeah. right and and it it like taps into something that 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 I think everybody can relate to for sure like that feeling of like when you're trying to remember something. And 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 your brain just kind of like seizes up. Yeah. You know, and yeah. it's like he's he's doing that to you with his lyrics. You know, <laughs> totally. it's like he's he's making you think. Yeah. Like making you like try to keep up with him. And it's it's interesting that he uses that image of scrambling because it suggests chaos, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's a controlled chaos, right? Because right. he's he's the one who's in control of it. Right. He's the one who's who's causing that scrambling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, you know, you contrast that with, with a line like, um, you know, when he talks about scalpel on the beat, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like there's that precision, that sharpness totally. to his delivery. Yeah, so it's it's like he can be both, right? Uh -huh. He can be like chaotic and, and kind of like, you know, in your face. Yeah. But he can also be very precise and... and very deliberate with his words. Yeah, and I think that's what makes him such an interesting lyricist. Totally. Yeah. Cuz he's got that range, you know. Yeah, yeah. He can he can do both. Uh there's this one line that I I wanted to ask you about cuz I I don't I'm not sure I fully get it. Okay. He says a uh, gin and tonic rhythm, chilled but so slick. Yeah. What what is that like musically? Well, it's it's such a unique phrase, isn't it? Gin and tonic rhythm. It is, yeah. You don't hear that every day, do you? No, you don't. Um, and I think it's... sonically, you know, if you think about it, gin and tonic, yeah. it kind of suggests, to me anyway, it suggests like a laid back kind of groove. Okay. You know, maybe with some 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 jazzy undertones, you know? Okay. It's not it's not like a, you know, a heavy in your face kind of beat. It's it's something a bit more yeah. you know, a bit more subtle, a bit more sophisticated. A bit more refined. Yeah. yeah. But it's also there's more to it than just the sound, I think. Because, you know, if you think about gin and tonic as a drink, yeah. It's often associated with, you know, a more kind of uh I don't know, kind of a posh image, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. You know, it's not it's not like uh, you know, a pint of beer down the pub. Right, right. You know, it's something a bit more a bit more refined, a bit more Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so it's interesting that he pairs that with with words like chilled and slick, which are often used to describe, you know, rap style. <laughs> you yeah, know? yeah, totally. So it's like he's kind of blending these two worlds together in a yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Which which I think is quite cool. It's cool, yeah. And and you know, we're talking about British rap here, so right. you know, there's that 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 cultural twist as well. Yeah. Which I think adds another layer of meaning. Totally. Yeah, to and the whole thing. I hadn't even thought about it that way. Like mm. the 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 Britishness of it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's definitely there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he, he's kind of taking that that traditional gin and tonic image, yeah, and he's 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 flipping it, you know. Yeah. He's he's claiming it for his own style, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's that's really interesting. It's really cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, there's this one phrase that he keeps repeating throughout the song. Yeah. And I I wanted to get your thoughts on this. It's uh, crafted to last. Yeah. He says it like a a few times, and it almost feels like. Like a mantra, yeah. You know, Beautiful. like what do you think he's getting at with that? I think it's a really powerful phrase, and I think it speaks to a couple of things. On one level, I think it's him expressing his desire to create music that stands the test of time. You uh. know, work that has a lasting impact. Right, like he wants to create something that's that's going to be remembered. Exactly. Yeah, he's not just interested in in you know making a quick hit. Yeah. You know, he wants to create something that's going to resonate with people yeah. for years to come. Right, right, right. And I think it also connects to this broader theme of storytelling that he explores in the song. Yeah. You know, he talks about tales of the past and how they're passed down through generations. Yeah. Yeah. And I think he sees his own music as part of that tradition. You yeah. know, he's he's creating something that's that's going to be that's going to outlive him. Yeah. You know, it's going to be it's going to be passed down. Yeah, yeah. to future generations. So it's it's not just about like being a skilled rapper. Yeah. It's about like being part of something bigger. Exactly. Yeah, he's placing himself within a lineage yeah. of storytellers. Right. And I think that's a really ambitious goal, but I think it's one that he's He's capable of achieving. Yeah, I mean, just just from 
like what we've talked about today. Yeah. Just like the level of of thought and craft that he puts into his lyrics, like it's clear that he takes it seriously. Definitely. Yeah. And I think for for you as a listener, you know, the song opens up some really interesting questions, I think, about about British rap, yeah. you know, and about about how Kurt Holes fits into that landscape. Right. But, yeah. You know, what makes his approach to storytelling unique? How does he use his British identity to connect with audiences? Right. And maybe even to challenge some perceptions about British rap. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a good question. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. That's something to think about. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks so much for 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 joining us and uh, breaking all this down. No problem. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. It's really, really interesting to, to kind of dig into this with you. Yeah. It's a great song. Yeah. It really is. Uh, and for everyone listening, um, you know, check out Quite Interesting if you haven't already. Yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think. Yeah. We'd love to hear from you. All right. That's it for this deep dive. See you next time. See ya. Quick with the history, smarter than it seems. Trivia facts drop hot in the schemes. Quite interesting, mind is a maze. Connect verbal dots, leave you in a daze. Quick wit, knowledge in a twist. British MC, gotta catch all this gist. Gin and tonic rhythm, chilled but so slick. Stories intricate, more depth than a flick. London pubs echo with tales.